My name is George Savidis and I am from Cyprus. I am an elementary school teacher and currently I'm teaching at one of the schools of my community, the fourth primary school of Aradipu, one of the largest schools in Cyprus. Although I'm experienced in using technology, I have never produced any video using the stop motion technique. I believed it to be a technique necessary only to professional cartoonists. My first exposure to the technique was at the seminar Video and Communication, Media Education Across the Curriculum, which I attended in May 2009 in Berlin. There, I realized how simple the technique was. All you really needed was a good idea. Since then, I use it in teaching art and undoubtedly it excites my students. The previous school year, I tried to involve my whole class in a stop motion video project we decided to produce a video about a pigeon flying over the world seeking for peace. The students wrote the scenario, they created the figures and the background, and they captured a total of 650 images. They used uh, the Windows Movie Maker software to combine all the images together and produced the final video. As I said earlier, the technique and the process can be easily used by everyone. What is important is to find a good idea, to create a background that highlights the figures, even a neutral one, and to accomplish a smooth motion of the figures. These are the guidelines I used on the, the end of the Apple project. Uh, I tried to capture the movement of the worm on a white background, which I believed made it more interesting. And the platform is undoubtedly a very good database where you can find other teachers videos which you can use in themselves or as an inspiration to create something new. You can also exchange ideas or discuss any technical issues regarding the process. It's obvious that all team members gave their best. The videos which were more noticeable were those which met, in my opinion, the three basic requirements. A simple story, a background and moving figures. I liked Torero Torres' video for the story and the set he created, and Maria Spartali's video for the moving human characteristics she used on the apples, and Costas Voro's video because of the apples' quick moves which led to a result.